This video will demonstrate how AQTime integrates into Embarcadero Rad Studio. AQTime extends the Rad Studio interface with AQTime panels, toolbars, and menus. It also provides a new AQTime project type that you can create in Rad Studio. The AQTime help system also integrates into Rad Studio's help system, providing information on AQTime features and functionality. Let's see how AQTime can integrate into Rad Studio and how you can perform profiling directly from the Rad Studio IDE. Here's a sample project that already implements the profiling functionality. Now to make AQTime functionality available for your Rad Studio project, you need to add an AQTime project to it. The AQTime project contains this AQTime module item. This module corresponds to the standalone AQTime project and specifies what classes and routines of your applications need to be profiled, sets the profiling options, and stores the profiling results. To work with AQTime projects in Rad Studio, you can use AQTime panels, toolbars, and menus that are integrated directly into Studio's IDE. AQTime extends Rad Studio's menu system with an AQTime item that contains commands which manage the project profiling. For example, run with profiling launches the project for profiling and the current profiler command allows you to choose which profiler you want to use. The setup panel shown right here allows you to specify what modules, assemblies, or scripts to profile. The summary panel displays your brief profiling results and the report panel displays profiling results organized as a table. Other AQTime panels display additional profiling results. For example, when you select an entry in the report panel, the details panel displays information about that particular entry. For example, we can see what routines call this particular routine and if this routine has any child routines that it calls itself. AQTime also provides this assistant panel which displays context-sensitive help that aids you in working with AQTime functionality within the context of Rad Studio. If you'd like to toggle these panels on and off, AQTime integrates the AQTime Profile Windows menu into the View menu right here. So you just come right here to the View menu and you go to AQTime Profile Windows and then choose the relevant panel you'd like to hide or show. AQTime also provides a number of toolbars to help you with the profiling process. For example, the Report toolbar shown right here, contains commands that affect the profiling results. And the setup toolbar, shown right here, contains commands that affect the project structure. If these toolbars are hidden, you can redisplay them simply by going to View, Toolbars, and then choosing the appropriate toolbar to add. Note that you can work with the AQTime toolbars and panels in the same way you work with the native Rad Studio interface. You can drag, drop, resize, add buttons, and then remove them from toolbars, and so on. Now to understand how the integrated features work, let's create a sample project and do a profiling run. So I'm going to close my project down, and now I'm going to create a new project for profiling. So to do this, I'm going to go File, New, Other, then I'm going to choose the Profiling category, and you can see here that this category contains two items, AQTime Project and AQTime Module. I'm going to choose AQTime Project and click OK. And you can see here a new AQTime project has been created. You can see it right over here in the Project Manager panel. And now we're ready to set up an application to profile with this module. Okay, so now you can see here the AQTime module has been opened up here in the Setup panel. And let's go ahead and add an application to profile to it. To do this, I'm going to click on the Add Module button right here. And now what I want to do is browse out to the executable that I want to profile. I've already got that application right here. I'm just going to copy this path and paste it right into my dialog here. There we go. Okay, you can see my application's been added here to the Modules panel. And now you come over here and you can see this Areas panel contains profiling areas that specify what portions of the code should be profiled. We're going to use Full Check by Routines right here. Make this a little bit bigger. Now, AQTime supports three different profiling levels. Profiling by Lines, by Routines, and by Classes. And you know what? I think we're going to use the Line level today to profile the code down at the Line level. So now the next thing I want to do is select the profiler that I want to use in my project. So suppose I want to check the sample application's performance and obtain the time spent on each routine and each line within each routine in my application. So to do that, I'm going to go up to the AQTime menu. I'm going to say Current Profiler. I'm going to make sure that Performance Profiler is selected. Okay, so the project is ready, so we're going to start profiling by going to the AQTime menu and choosing Run with Profiling. Now this brings up this Run Settings dialog. This dialog allows you to modify profiler settings before the profiling actually begins. 
for right now we're going to keep the defaults and I'm just going to click this run button. Now, AQ Time shows this no line found dialog that lists the routines that can't be profiled down at the level and will be profiled at the routine level instead. So I'm going to click OK to that. And then I also get this uninstrumented routines dialog. This displays the list of routines that can't be profiled for some reason, and that reason is usually listed right here. I'm going to click OK to ignore these and profile the project anyway. All right, so now the sample applications window is displayed on screen. And so I'm going to click the Execute button right here in my application, and I'm going to wait until the application finishes executing. That can take a few moments. Okay, then I get this message indicating the execution is finished. So I'm going to click OK to this dialog, and I'm going to close my application down and wait for my results to be generated. The report panel then shows the profiling results. It contains the time spent on each routine, as here in the time column, the amount of time spent on a routine with their children, here in the time with children column, along with the total number of times that a particular routine was called, here in the hit count column. This details panel contains additional information on the parent and child routines of the routine that's currently selected in the report panel. So do action B here gets called by do action C and the profiling test routines. The routine's hierarchy is displayed here on the call graph panel. You can see a different representation of that here on the call tree. You can also view the source code of a profiled routine. To do this, just double click the desired routine here in the report panel. Now AQ Time is saying, hey, I don't know where that code lives. Would you like me to set your search path? I'm going to say yes. We're going to actually browse out to where our source code file lives on our system. So I'll say okay, uh, yes to this. I'm going to go back to my dialog here. I'm going to copy this path. And I'll say OK. After the source files are specified, the source code is displayed in the Rad Studio editor. So right here, there's the source code for do action A. Now the grid on the left hand side of the source code editor displays profiling results for each line. As you remember, we selected line level profiling in the setup pane. AQTime uses color marks to graphically indicate the routines or the routines lines that take the longest execution time. The more time that the code took, the darker the color that's used. So the white marks indicate the fast code lines, whereas red marks indicate the slowest code lines. This concludes our video on integrating AQTime with the Rad Studio IDE. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the URL on your screen. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy working with AQTime.